BFF's pod is in LA. Very exciting. Who is someone that you want a dream person on the BFF's pod that you have in it? I want Little Huddy. Little Huddy's ducking me. I want Little Huddy. I've want Little Huddy since we started the pod. So Little Huddy, if you're out there, we're waiting for you. Little Huddy, why is he ducking the pod? He, because I trashed his style when we started, but it's grown on me. But he does have wacky style. Speaking of style, we're at the Revolve event. Who's your fashion inspiration? Oh, jeez. I have terrible. You know what? I've been doing like vintage stuff this time. I don't know that I have any inspiration. No? I'm like a Boston guy. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, big sports guy. Who you got? Rams, Bengals. Right now, the Rams, but it could, if you ask me in 10 minutes, it could change to the Bengals. <laughs> Rams. It's going to be a good game, I think. All right, we'll have so much fun tonight. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Josie Canseco, and you're watching Hollywire. How are you? I'm amazing. You look stunning in leather. Thank you. Um, I, Pam and Tommy just came out, the documentary, and I just kind of wanted to like recreate that look in a way. I don't know if I did a good job or not, but I hope you think I did. I mean, you look amazing. This is very Pam and Tommy inspired. So speaking of, you don't have the barbed wire, but you have the leather, you got the hair, you got the look. Uh, so we're here at the Revolve Hwood event. So who's your biggest fashion inspiration, would you say? Um... Probably Bella Hadid. She's f***ing dope. She's cool, and I think that adding a bit of like um, a masculine like touch, but with also like a, a, a like a nice look and like a fire eye and everything. Like yes. she's just hot. I love the way she mixes her looks, and she's just cool. She's chic and she's effortless and she's incredible. And I think that's what people should reach for. You know. I love that. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Josie, do you have a Valentine? I, I do. Can you share who this special Valentine is? I can't. What about I, the plants? It's a surprise. He's surprising me with like a cute little Valentine's Day situation. I don't know anything, but he's like, has it all figured out. He's going to surprise me. And it's really sweet and endearing because, you know, it's just someone doing that for you on Valentine's Day in general is so sweet. So. I love that. And the Super Bowl is invaded LA, and I just heard you're going to the Super Bowl. I think I am. I think I am. I think I have a, a situation with a suite and some friends, and we're just gonna go and have some beers and like watch the game. I love it. So who you got? LA. Come on. Always LA. Obviously, this is my hometown. I was raised here my whole life. So. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about LA? Oh God, that's tough. <laughs> um, probably just the diversity of like nature. You have hikes. You have the ocean. You have the city, you have, you know, you, you just have a lot of, you have a lot in the midst of like a 30 mile radius. You can kind of do whatever you want. Yes. So I think it's home. It's an assault. It's just, it's home for me. I was raised here my whole life. I have my family here. I'm just raised my whole life. So for me, it's just like, it's home. I love it. And lastly, Justin Bieber's performing tonight. Are you a believer? <laughs> I don't know if I'm a believer, but I think he's one of the most talented artists of all time and I think he's gonna kill it and I'm excited to see how it goes. Amazing. So much fun tonight. You look incredible. Thank you. So nice meeting you. <laughs>